estimating with fractions and mixed numbers. Now, estimating is a key concept to understand, and it's going to go ahead and appear also in fractions, not just with whole numbers like we did before in the first chapter we went over. So it's very similar to estimating for operations with whole numbers. And it's really useful to check over your answers quickly or when you do not need an exact answer. And what we do is we use the following benchmarks. We use 0, 1 half, and 1. And if there's a fraction that's close to 0, or that's uh, close to 0, obviously we use 0. If it's close to half, we use a half. And if it's close to 1, we use 1. I'll show you how that works with mixed numbers as well in a minute. So if we were to do these problems here, if we were asked to go ahead and estimate the value of this, uh, of this as we went through 5 6 plus 1 8 plus 6 11, all we would do is we would change this. We'd say, well, 5 6, that's close to 1. 1 8, well, 5 6, it's only 1 sixth away from 1, so it's close to 1. This here, is it close to 0, 1 half, or 1? Well, it's actually closest to, closest to 0, because 4 eighths would be 1 half, and 8 eighths would be 1. So that's closer to 0. Now, 6 elevenths, all you do to ourselves is we think to ourselves, well, does 6 go into 11, or close to going to an 11? If it goes into 11, then it's close to 1. If it only goes in halfway, like it does here, uh, or if, it, if when you double it, you get there, if you uh, if it just goes in all the way by itself, then it's going to be close to 1. If this was 6 over 6, it would be 1, obviously. But if you go 6 into 11, it goes in almost twice. So that means it's going to be 1 half, because it's 1 half of the way there. And we just add those all up, and we end up with 1 and 1 half. Now here, estimating with mixed numbers. Now what you have to remember about is this stays the same. The whole number stays the same. And all we're doing when we're estimating this, for when we're adding and subtracting, we're changing the fraction portion. We're just changing that to being one of these benchmarks, 0, 1 half, or 1. So 1 and 1 third, well, we could either say 1 1 third is close to 1 and 1 half, but remember we got to have that 1, or close to 1 and nothing. So I'm just going to keep it easy and say it's close to 0 because 1 third is in between a 0 and 1 half. So then we say plus 6, and this is going to be 5 6. 5 6 is close to 1, so if we have 1 here and 6 and 5 here, then we're going to have 6 here. Then we subtract 2 and 1 eighth again. That 1 eighth is close to 0 if we're estimating, and so this is going to be subtract 2, and all we do is 1 plus uh, 1 plus 6 minus 2, so that's going to be a total of 5. Now, if we move on to estimating products, again, very similar. We're asking, being asked for an estimate that makes sense. So let's see here, 4 and 2 ninths, well, is 2 ninths closer to uh, 1, 1 half, or 0? Well, it's closest to 0. You could say it was close to a half, but it isn't quite close to a half. If it was like 4.5 over 9, then it would be a half, and we aren't quite there. We're two and a half uh, away of that in the in the actual numerator. So I'm going to go with zero again. So I'm just going to change this to four. Now, if for the six and seven eighths, that's just going to be well, seven eighths is close to one. So six plus one is going to be seven, and so I'm just going to do four times 7, that's just going to be 20, let me write it over here, 28, and that is our answer for that, just get rid of that little thing there, and so now, uh, and that's just the way it works, we, we just want to be working with whole numbers, we're getting rid of the fraction part if we're estimating, that's the key concept to understand, now 70 and a half, divided by 7 and 5 6. We're going to figure out how to do this sort of problem and this problem up here with the estimating products eventually, but we want to know how to check our answers quickly. So 70 and 1 half, well, divided by 7 and 5 6. What I do is I say, well, 70 and 1 half. In this case here, I don't want to deal with that 1 half. I want to find a compatible full number. So I'm going to start off by just changing it to, uh, we're going to start off by changing to 70. And then we're going to say, okay, well, what's this equal to, close to? This is equal to 7 and 5, 6. That's close to 8. 
So does 8 go into 70? No, it doesn't. So what number over here can I change that's close to, that's close to 70 that 8 would go evenly into? And if you know your multiplication tables, it should be 72 divided by 8, which would then be equal to approximately 9. And that would be our answer for estimating.